Welcome to River City Live on this Wednesday. And you know what? We have some great giveaways, and it will help you kind of get through the week today. You well, know? we're giving things away like we always do, and Ticketmaster is giving things away because, well, the court said they had to. So if you are somebody who has purchased tickets with Ticketmaster anytime between 1999 and 2013, there is a chance that if you go to your account on Ticketmaster and click on My Vouchers, you will find a long list of vouchers or free codes or this and that and a lot of people are chiming in about this online whether or not it's a good thing or a bad thing the excessive fees is what was being argued back in 2013 when they were in court and it took them this long to figure out how they were planning to give the money away so they're doing it in the form of vouchers for people who frequently buy tickets right and Ticketmaster. now a couple of my friends have been excited about this and a few people i've talked to have said well the vouchers weren't for things that i'd want to go do one lady we talked to on the radio this morning actually said that she got a voucher for something called the string cheese experience <laughs> yeah. i guess don't knock it until you attend it right it could be could no, be neat. Right. It could be but, awesome. You know, so like I, I saw this a couple days ago, and at first, like that is amazing because it's a lot of money, you know, to do this. 57 million people are eligible for these vouchers. And then today, more information is being released on it, and I'm kind of on the side of your friend. It turns out 31 states total are not even represented there. Right. So a lot of these venues aren't even by you. Right. And then the other, I guess, fault, a lot of them are kind of like 90s bands which isn't bad but there's not a lot of like pop concerts or mm -hmm. r&b or rap so you're limited you are you're very limited the vouchers aren't good for just anything you want to do now there are codes too that will give you discounts maybe those would apply to something else but it's still fun to look i went on mine i went on uh, everybody in my family that has Ticketmaster accounts none of us got any vouchers which I was upset about it until yeah. I heard about the string cheese thing, <laughs> and I thought, well, maybe that's all right. <laughs> well, the sky's the limit, right? Always. Maybe, right? That, that's a saying. Well, check this out. Out in Cambodia, this company came out with personalized clouds. It's a combination of suds and helium, and you can make shapes. And there's one right now just drifting away. How, how cute is that? That's beautiful. A little slice of heaven. A little slice of heaven. And what they're doing, which I think is amazing, 5% of all the funds that they generate, they're giving away to needy kids in the area. And they also could customize any type of shape that you want. Right now, they have things like peace signs, stars, snowflakes, and dolphins. But well, what is it made of? Uh, helium and soap. And it's also biodegradable, so it's not harmful. So it's so, bubbles. It basically bubbles, yeah. And then helium is what makes it float. But how is, cute is that? Yeah, no, that what is a great really idea. I love looking at the clouds and trying to make shapes. I think that's something everybody's done. Lie back on the grass, look up, and say, oh, that's this, that's that. And then, and then you can apply that same creativity to everyday snack food, like, for example, Cheetos. And the <laughs> Cheetos folks know that we do this. So they have created the Cheetos, Cheetos Museum. I think we have some video to show you the Cheetos Museum and what that looks like. Anyway, I'm Jacob Stitzel, and this is my Cheetos collection. I have Cheetos that look like uh, King Tut, Cheetos uh, Dolphin, Cheetos Eiffel Tower. Well, yeah, all kinds of Cheetos. Okay, so once you uh, determine that there are a million different ways to look at your Cheetos, you suddenly are craving Cheetos, right? Well, we were. So we have our Cheetos right here in front of us, and we would like to to maybe put some Cheetos up for prizes because there's like $150,000 worth of prize money at stake. Yeah. If you can find a Cheeto that is shaped <laughs> like something else, and it has to be convincing. I mean, you can't just say, well, I see it. Well, I went I online to, to the Cheetos Museum, and some of them that are on there are absolutely amazing. There's an Abraham Lincoln that looks like Abraham Lincoln. There's a giraffe. So um, obviously, like, we wanted to try our hand at this. So do you want to go first, ladies first? What oh, do you, you have? have so many. Why don't you do one? Uh, okay. I'm saving mine because here's here's because yours is actually pretty mine good. Mine is mine is like a, you see it and you know instantly what it is. Uh, is these is, aren't that way. You, All right. Okay. So the first one we have our own Cheetos cam here. So we'd like to have the Cheetos cam up here. Cheetos cam, please take the shot. Okay. Do you know what that is? It is uh, alligator. It's close. Slug. That is Falcor from the Never Ending Story. Do you remember that flying dog dragon? The, With luck, <laughs> he flies across. Did he have no? wings, or is that one? That yeah, he, no, he had wings. All right, let, let me do <laughs> let me do one other here. Let me do one other. Um, if you like Falcor, then you're gonna love this next one. <laughs> All right, so the next wow. one is. But now take a look at it and use your imagination. You really got to think hard on this one. Oh 
Oh my gosh, that looks like It's a... from another movie. Oh, it is? It's a scene. Is it, it's a scene from a movie? <laughs> yes. Is it a PG movie? What kind of, I don't know. Okay, so it? when you said, is it a PG movie, I think you're getting close to this. So basically in Titanic, Kate Winslet, when she's being painted yes, by Leonardo is. DiCaprio. No, you're right. Do you right. see that? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, that is good. her laying there. All right, All right Eden, so, well, let's so see what you mine, got. mine, like I said, is super obvious. The, I mean, I'm not, I'm not even gonna tell you. I want you to look at it at home. <laughs> super obvious. First, maybe zoom in so it's a little easier for everyone to see. Okay, there we go. All right, so it's really, stop it, because I'm submitting this. Stop, such a, such a brat, it's my turn. All right, so you see, everyone can tell. Maybe it's this way. Uh, it's a dog howling. It's, it's a dog howling. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Now, see, when you put the sound to it, I totally get that it's a dog howling. That's pretty good. Well, guess what? It's time now for one of our giveaways. There's a movie that is coming out. A lot of Roald Dahl fans are very excited about this. It's the BFG, the big friendly giant. And we have tickets to the private screening of this movie. It's happening uh, tomorrow night, as a matter of fact, at Tinseltown. So we are going to take the first 10 people who would like a family four pack to go see this movie to email us right now at rclcontest at wjxt.com. And a big old thank you to our friends at YWH Network for providing those tickets. Now, Rance is out and about right now. Yeah, that's right. You know, summer just started a couple days ago. What better way to celebrate than Adventure Landing? So let's now check in with Rance, who's there right now. Hey, Rance, how you doing? Yes, River City Live fam, who does it big for you? Yes, I came out to Adventure Landing. I'm hanging out at the Shipwreck Island Water Park where they are splashing into summer down here. Now make sure you bring your sunblock. I forgot mine, so I might come out a little tan, but it is packed as you can see. This is a great family atmosphere. Moms, dads, grandmas, and definitely the wee ones. You've got all this action going on and I mean, what else could you ask for? It's going to be warm this summer, obviously. You need to cool down. Why not come out to hang out at Adventure Landing? So, uh, you know, I got to do what I got to do. I see a bunch of little ones jumping in. I'm about to go into the half pipe. Yeah. All right, I'm going to hand the mic to my friend Sally, and uh, I love you guys. <laughs> Pretty sure he's going to be okay. Let's see. Let's see Rance and, always has good form and yeah, anything that requires athletic football. skills. All right, goodbye, Rance. Here we go. All right, here we go. Wee! All right. He just needs yeah, a push. He needs push. a push. Come on. Just like Come everything on, in life, he needs a little push. Oh. Whoa! Well, that looks Wait, like a lot it, of fun. It, it keeps wow. Going. Yeah. He got pretty close to the edge on that. Did you see that? I did. Yeah. <laughs> when you know the camera's rolling, you have to act like you're not scared. <laughs> exactly. That would be the only way I would do that. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be checking with Rance in about 10 minutes to see what else he's going to get into at Adventure Landing. So stick around. You're going to want to see that. There is a local 12-year-old boy who is doing some really big things in a very unique sport. Dante Gonzalez has been in ballet since he can remember. And our Elizabeth Campbell is introducing him to us now. Liz? <laughs> Was when I was three, my parents took me to um, a show by ABT, American Ballet Theater. And I remember since then, it was, I was so intrigued in it. Not only does Dante remember that, but his mom, Irma, does too. He invited me to see the ABT company to the Florida Theater, and we have no babysitter, so we took him. He was just looking and looking and very interested in what was happening, and when we came home, he started trying to dance and asking us, like, for the next day, and always like, can I dance, can I dance, can I dance? Since Dante was a little boy, his father Pablo knew he was a go-getter. He's always been focused on what he wants. He has one idea in his mind and he'll just go for it. So he's very determined. So, you know, now we know that whenever, whatever goal he sets for himself, he'll, he'll go for it. Over the past few years, Dante attended school at La Villa School of the Arts and is trained here at the Florida Ballet in downtown Jacksonville. This coming school year, when he begins seventh grade, he'll be making a big change, attending the Florida Ballet Conservatory. One of his instructors, Linda Reif Snyder Jenkins, says it will make him not only a better dancer, but a better person. 
The fact that he is around other individuals who are equally as motivated and focused as he is and all have the same goals, that helps. The intensity of, of small classes and the length of time that they spend more uh, time dancing is another major factor. And they're actually less tired than when they go to school because, you know, you have classes to change, you're going to the locker, you do this and that, you got to catch the bus. So we find that a lot of the kids that dance earlier in the day with us and do their academics actually have more energy to bring to the evening classes as well. He's participated in numerous local productions, including The Nutcracker and several with Players by the Sea. Ballet and dancing is what drives him, his passion. With many of his dance peers being girls, Dante has learned at an early age the importance of staying true to yourself. It's not been the easiest. I've got a lot of bullies over the air saying like, that's not for boys, like sports is what you should be doing. And that, that's, it used to bother me, but now that I know that it's what I want to do, I'm not going to let a group of people control my life. And I know if that's what I want to do, then I got to do it. Much of that attitude clearly instilled by his parents. I told him, you know, be proud of who you are. And if you're going to dance, dance with your forehead up. I don't want you to sit down just because you are a dancer. If you want to do it, do it with all your soul and with all your pride and it's what he's doing. Wise beyond his years and continuing to make his mom and dad proud. In just a few weeks, they'll head to London to visit the prestigious Royal Ballet. Dante is looking forward to traveling overseas and Pablo and Irma will continue to support their son every step of the way. Just saying that I've been there could open a lot of doors for dancing itself. When you see that your kids reach help or they are talking about their dreams, sometimes you don't take them serious, but it can be a big surprise. Just listen, listen to them and watch them grow and enjoy them. Let them dream big. I'm Elizabeth Campbell for River City Live. Wow, he's so talented. We want to wish him luck. He's going to be in London July 15th, so good luck, Dante. For more information on the Florida Ballet, you could check that out on our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Just click the As Seen on River City Live. More to come right after this.